Are you looking for a Florida manufactured home on the Gulf side with quick access to the beaches in a clean and affordable mobile home park that has a pool? Join us as we look at a 25K bargain in Bradenton. Stay tuned. In this video, we will take a look at a Florida manufactured home in a 55 plus community in the city of Bradenton. Gulf Coast beaches are a big attraction here, but there's much more. Join us as we meet up again with Mark Kaiser and take a tour of a 25K bargain in a Florida mobile home park. Hello, I'm Russ Watson. I created Florida Manufactured Home Living to enrich the lives of manufactured homeowners and educate the public on its benefits. Let's dig in. The city of Bradenton is on the west coast of Florida. It is about 45 miles south of Tampa on the south side of Tampa Bay. St. Petersburg is to the north about 25 miles and Sarasota is about 14 miles to the south. It is just off I-75 making it an easy stop for those coming from the north. If you're headed up to Disney and the resort parks it's about 100 miles or maybe two hours if the traffic is light. One thing that makes Bradenton so attractive is its proximity to a number of the Gulf Coast's finest beaches. The warm sand and stunning green-blue waters are a beach lover's dream come true. You can just hop on Cortez Road and jump over the bridge to Anna Maria Island. Take a right to Holmes Beach or a left to Cortez. There are literally miles of beaches available to you. Do you want more beach adventure? Then head south to Sarasota and across the bridges to either Lido Key or Siesta Key, where many more beach adventures lie ahead of you. Beaches aren't the only entertainment. There are 26 golf courses in Bradenton and another 57 golf courses within 20 miles, many of which are public. Another favorite American pastime is baseball. Bradenton has that too. Lecom Field is spring training grounds for the Pittsburgh Pirates. It is also home to the Bradenton Marauders, a Pittsburgh Pirates Class A minor league affiliate. Medical care is available at Manatee Memorial and HCA Florida Blake Hospital. Following the tour of the home, we'll ask Mark what he likes about Bradenton. If you want more information on manufactured housing, including access to our community lists, check out our website. The link is in the description below. Let's head out to the park. Pine Haven is a community of about 77 homes on the south side of Bradenton. It is clean and the neighbors watch out for each other. There are older homes, but they look to be in awfully good shape. Clearly, there is pride among the residents in this park. Well, here we are. Oh, there he is. Hey, Ross, how you doing? Hey, Mark. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Thanks for letting us see this house. You bet. Let's go take a look. All right. Thanks. You know, Mark, that last video we did is pretty popular. You sure seem to come up with some bargains. So... Technically, a uh, single wide with build-out floor to room. Got the one one over there. They modified this for the second bedroom with the closet. Looks like they used this as a sitting area, and the living room is here in the main house. All wall-mounted air conditioning, no central units, right? Correct, correct. All, uh, all window units in good working order. As you feel here, they're blowing ice cold. Is all the furniture included, Mark? In this one, they're doing it that the majority of it's included. But if the person buying the house said I want it empty, they'll make it work. It might be handy, but I think I'd move that freezer. Sure. Maybe on the storage area. Yeah. How's the roof? It's got a newer roof over on it. Uh, metal roof over on the central part of the house. I like a little dining area handy to the kitchen. Is that a gas range? We're on a gas stove with a double oven. So that's going to be a nice, uh, nice selling point for all the cooks out there. 
I see it has a double sink, a fair amount of cabinet space, and a good size refrigerator. Looks like a nice size pantry closet to the right of the ovens. So I guess we get down here to the master bedroom. Uh, anything you'd like to tell us about it? Correct. Good size. Good size. With its own separate uh, AC unit there in the window. Large storage area with the closet. And uh, plenty good size for a queen or even a king bed. The current resident seems pretty happy with it all. We'll go back down the hall here and take a look at the bath. Mark, what are your thoughts on this bathroom? I'll tell you what, you know, for being the size of the home, it's nice and wide. You can have uh, one person in the shower, or one person uh, getting ready if they need to or whatever, because you can move around behind each other. Let's go look at the other sleeping areas, the office, storage, and laundry. So they made this area into a guest bedroom and a small office. Correct, and they got the... Um... They got the closet put in here as well, which is super nice. That's a nice desk. Seems like this would be a good spot for a visiting grandchild or a friend who likes the beach. Through here to the storage and laundry? Correct. Now the home is being moved out of here, so you'll see the uh, boxes and bins. So let's make sure the viewers know that the uh, home is in the process of being moved out on. Laundry. This is unusual, right? It's unusual for this... Uh, this community, we've sold a handful of properties in this neighborhood. None of them have had laundry. Looks like you could sit out here in the carport and watch the world go by. And nice having a covered carport and protect your house from the sun here. What's the asking price on this house, Mark? Twenty-four five. Wow, that's five hundred less than I thought it was. And what's the lot rent? Five fifty. And what does that include? The big five, water, sewer, trash, lawn care, amenities. Do you know the average lot rent in Manatee County? The average lot rent in Manatee County is, for 2021, is going to be just over 800. Mark, why don't you tell us what's around the community and why Bradenton might be a good place to retire while I show the folks the outside of the home and the community pool. So if you come out of the neighborhood and you take a left, then you're going to be on your way to Anna Maria Island. If you take a right, you're going to be about uh, 10 to 15 minutes away from Siesta Key. Either direction, when you come out of the community, you've got ton tons of dining. If you're a beach lover with this community, you get a straight shot into the beaches, and then you can go north or south, depending on what flavor you're interested in. And how about Bradenton? You've got a lower cost of living than Sarasota. You've got a lower cost of living than Clearwater. Access to I-75, which will take you anywhere to the state in the state of Florida, north to south. And you're not too far away from Tampa. If you're a sports fan, we got all the pro sports teams there. You've got the University Town Center Shopping District uh, down in Sarasota. So what makes this home a bargain? The price, the location, and the comparatively low lot rent all combine to make this a beach lover's dream. You may need a little work to make it your own, but that's true of any home. I hope you enjoyed our tour of this bargain home in Bradenton, Florida. Thanks again to Mark Kaiser, the mobile home dealer, for taking time out of his busy schedule to show us this home. If you would like to see more bargain homes in 55 plus communities, just click on the link. Please give us a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. It really helps the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.